Hello, friends, and welcome to Encouragement for Today. Rays of hope to carry us through these old gloomy, dark days of unrest. And friend, there's no better place to find that ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious Word. Let me invite you today to pick up your copy of God's Word, the precious Holy Bible. Turn with me to Psalm number 103. I want us today to look at verse 11 and verse 12 as our text verses of Scripture. Now notice what the Bible says here. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. And friend, I pray that God would add his blessings to the reading of his holy and his precious word. You know, my friend, as I begin to think about these two verses of Scripture, it brings to mind just how unforgiving we really are. Now, one of the most important things that you and I can do is reach a place of forgiving our brothers and sisters in Christ as well as those who may be outside of Christ so that we might be able to point them to Christ. We've been talking about forgiveness now for about two, maybe into the third week. Uh, and uh, we have just a few more to go as we will we'll finish the thought of forgiveness. But friend, uh, whenever I look at these two verses of Scripture, one of the things that really impressed me about these couple of verses is that we serve a God who is a God who forgets our transgressions. Now, you and I, we've got to confess this morning that we are often uh, imperfect in our forgiving. We're imperfect in our forgiving. Many people say or they think that they have forgiven someone, but they're still keeping a small mental list consciously or unconsciously of that person's wrongdoing and will bring that up to them if that person messes up again. That's just our human nature. Uh, we tend to remember. But you need to understand, unlike people, God does not keep a list of our sins uh, at all whenever they're under the blood. In fact, he banishes those sins as far from us as east is from west. This is a poetic way of saying your sins are gone forever when you get to know the Lord Jesus Christ. And God will never use them to shame you in the future. You see, my friend, God's forgiveness is complete. And God's forgiveness is permanent. If you want to practice true forgiveness and have healthy relationships, throw away that mental list of people's past mistakes and forgive them and move on. Now listen to me. There are still consequences for people's actions. And sometimes the consequences is, is, is that you need to end a relationship with someone uh, who is not safe. It's still possible, though, to forgive that person and to move on with your life without holding on to bitterness. Now, we've already talked about the root of bitterness and what it will do to you. It'll eat away at your spirit like a cancer eats a body. And friend, we don't need to be uh, have our, our spirits invaded by the root of bitterness. So uh, if you need to uh, sever a relationship because it just can't be brought back together, forgive that person anyway. Move on. Don't let the root a bitterness harbor in your heart to destroy you, uh, but move on and move on for the glory of God. So it's possible to, possible to forgive a person and move on with your life without holding bitterness against them for the ways that they may have harmed you. Friend, just as Jesus forgave you, you need to forgive others. I still think of the Lord's Prayer. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. If we're not willing to forgive, then, friend, we can't be forgiven. But it encourages me to know that we serve a God who will save us by his amazing grace 
and those sins that that uh, that just so easily beset our lives, that God will forgive them completely, and just throw them out and never bring them up to us again. Now you need to understand, Satan, like a roaring lion, walketh about seeking those in whom he may devour. And while God may forget those sins, the devil knows every one of them, and he will accuse you and abuse you by bringing those sins up. But I can just see Jesus as he stands, and he makes a, a plea for us, our advocate. He said, uh, he'll say, Father, that's under the blood. And friend, if it's under the blood, you're clean, you're cleansed. But now, there's a key to it being under the blood. 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, listen, and cleanse us from all. Did you catch that? From all unrighteousness. So, friend, let me invite you today that if you haven't made uh, that confession to God just yet, today would be a good day to start. Thank God for his forgiveness. And thank God that he throws out all of those past transgressions as far as east to west. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for the precious word of God that reminds us you are an all-forgiving God. Help us to be an all-forgiving people. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray you'll do just that and do your best to make a difference in your world today. I've, I've got just a little bit of encouragement from this word today, knowing that we serve a God that forgives uh, and forgets. Boy, that's wonderful. Uh, if that don't encourage you, as an old preacher once said, if you can't catch on fire from that, your wood must be wet. Praise God. Have a wonderful day.